Where would you like to start? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Uh, just at the top, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> Make it big for me, Ma. Arctic fifty four. If you want to know something, just ask. I'm very open minded and non judgmental. Is anyone on here real? Why take the time to match with someone and not take the time to communicate afterwards? Can we talk, meet, hang out, and do things as friends first, and then see where things go? All I ask is for a good conversation, and you keep your word. I'm very outdoorsy. Hike, camp, bike, travel, RV, backpack, off-grid, hunt, all water sports, climbing, rappelling, survival, jeep, on and on. Come join me. This man has been hurt. <laughs> yeah. RJ. He's Come probably in. Come in ha- for a hug. Yeah. And he, he's been burned on here, and he's just like, fuck y'all. Yeah. By the way, I like surfing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But Tom this- Clancy books. <laughs> 54. So I could see his frustration. He definitely came up in a different era dating. Um, yeah, like face to face mostly, yeah. even if it was dangerous and weird. And and maybe he's talking to younger girls, probably. Not, you know, not in like younger women, because I would imagine those are the ones who are going to be uh, ghosting and doing this kind of stuff. Um, so the answer to your question is yes, uh, uh, there are real people on here. Um, good question on why take the time to match with somebody and not take the, co- the time to communicate afterwards. Um, one thing I could say is the reason is that people don't go down there enough, but that's not a reason to not get back to somebody after you match with them. So I, I understand the frustration noted. Um, to put it in a bio, though, like I feel like this is. <laughs> <laughs> this is well, no. screaming out somebody hurt me <laughs> and we all know this right i mean like some of the side was like are you real or not real it's like calm down and I that's guess, the opener i guess when like when when i wrote my own bio like a bajillion years ago i didn't put like my complaints about how the app worked <laughs> you know what i mean yeah so like you're not reporting on the app or you're not reporting on modern dating. Okay. You're just like talking about yourself so they could read your bio and know. So this, what this tells me about you is that you're fucking annoying. Like I don't want to talk to you Yeah, because you know, I feel like we go on a date and you would bring up your ex-girlfriend the whole time and yeah. everything wrong they did. That's a good point. Yeah. So that's the vibe you're giving me from this. It's like everybody sucks. Everybody who wants I've to I've had so to me, many bad dates. Want to hear about them all? No, I don't. <laughs> the other thing is, it could be him. <laughs> Maybe he says something really creepy and they bounce. So Maybe he's negative. <laughs> no one likes a negative Nelly. <laughs> this guy's 34, Jay. Whenever somebody doesn't put their full name, that's also where I'm like, mm. Yeah. If you're on Tinder, you own it. Um, because now you look like a creepo, especially where well, it goes. And then it says his name anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So they make me feel like a private eye. <laughs> we did it. My name's, there's no apostrophe. My name's Josh, and welcome to my page. Dating with some intention behind that shit. Public meet, food and vibes, and see what happens. Don't ask me about my tattoos. It's annoying. So my thing here is like, aren't, don't you get tattoos in a way to show them off, but you just don't want people to ask about them? I mean, if somebody, hmm, there's like tattoo etiquette, I guess oh, I would say. Okay. Asking someone if something means something is one thing. And I don't think you should really say that's annoying because that's how people get to know each other. Right. Like, I don't yeah. know. Like, what's? Uh, it's like a really good, like, it's lead a good into icebreaker. A yeah, icebreaker. It's like if someone is wearing a jacket and they have like a patch on it that has a band name, and you really like that band, or you don't, but you ask them like, "What do you? Oh, do you like that band? Have you ever seen them?" Mm-hmm. And they're like, "That's annoying. Don't ask me about my patches. <laughs> Why right. are you wearing it then?" So, right. like, I have tattoos, and you know, don't touch it. Yeah. 
that's no, no touching ever. Well, you know, like pulling, pulling your clothes off to like read something. Oof. I'm like, okay, I'll just tell you when it says you're being weird. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's, this also gives me very negative vibes. Like the same yeah. sort of thing. Like the beginning isn't terrible. That's fine. Yeah. You want to like chill, talk. That's cool. But right. that last line makes him sound like an ass. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't even make sense. But like that, what do you that statement expect? is annoying. Yeah. Don't ask me about my tattoos. They're annoying. Well, you're annoying. He's probably just covered in tattoos. So that would be a lot to explain. Maybe he should have thought about that before <laughs> he got them. <laughs> or you I could like. say something cute like, you know, um, you could ask me about like one tattoo per date. Oh, see, that's really good. See, you can yeah. spin things so they're not like shitty. But I don't want to talk about my tattoos. <laughs> don't or... ask me about this thing that's clearly a passion of mine. Right? Ask me about my tattoos. Turn it around. Right. Is it annoying or do you want to get fucked? I mean, it's like, <laughs> those are your two <laughs> options here. Because you're eliminating, like, a lot of girls by having that negative ass shit in there. So, that's on you, bro. All right. Uh, does this have an age? No age. Hmm. Interesting. That is but an verified. option. But verified? But verified. But verified. Verified. Very verified. <laughs> so fun. You're allowed to hide your age if you subscribe to the tinder gold because oh, of course i have that and i could not put my name but regardless of w women or men that's sh shady as f because that's like one of the top you like you look at their age first and well, like you why can would you why would you want to conceal something that affects if people choose you or not like Okay, cool. So they're gonna like match with you and you could say some gross stuff to her. But like what if she won't like if she goes out on a date with you and she's like, Why were your pictures from thirty years ago? Yeah. Then that feels bad, right? Why would you want to put yourself in that position to be like, So you know how I look like a hot bag of trash now? Because all my pictures were Yeah me from high school. But like, <laughs> why wouldn't you put women maybe, but still you're gonna have to disclose that at some point, you know? I think women should put their age, too. Yeah. It's not a bad thing. Okay, this is John. Um, he goes, changing it up because I have no idea what women want. Sorry. Changing it up because I have no idea what women want these... Women these days want. God damn very, it. I hurt my brain. <laughs> the UG one. Love me. <laughs> okay. I'm going to read it how it's supposed to be. And then I'll. The young then... ones love me. The one. Mo oh, I just said this. Changing it up because I have no idea what women these days want. The young ones love me. The ones my age are either too stuck up or just not into a real man that handles his business. I've lived life to the fullest as long as I can remember with no regrets. I have two children, three and 16, so old enough to drive me around. <laughs> I party, chill. I have access to all kinds of concerts, and I like the beach. I'll beat you off. <laughs> <laughs> it caught me off guard. I'll beat you off so hard. Oh, that's also from Barbie movie. Take a chance and let's do stupid shit together. I'm super fun. <laughs> He's enough, so he might be fun. <laughs> Um, this one's 30. He goes like this. I deeply value my peace as well as my privacy. So I'm simply looking to pull up every one to three weeks. Respectfully. No, you can't be my dog. No, I don't want to take you out for sushi. No, I don't have Snapchat. Nor do I want to frequently text. I mean, just hire uh, someone who does that for a profession. And they can, every one to three weeks, you can put that up. <laughs> Schedule an appointment. Yeah, exactly. Make a standing appointment every exactly third Wednesday or something, and and pay for it like a peaceful man does. <laughs> because peace. <laughs> <laughs> what is this one now? These are the ones who are like, what the fuck? Wait, what did I call it? Yikes! Yeah. Oh, yikes! Okay. Yikes. He's forty-five. I am what I made of myself after me, and life has done its worst. Zero. Oh, OG. 
God, I'm my brain that is hurt. breaking. Oh, okay. <laughs> Help. I am what I've made of myself after me and life have done its worst. OG mentality, old school state. Respect, honesty, and loyalty go far. If you ask what I'm on here for, I'll say I'm trying to find out what my dick looks like in your mouth. This is a dating app. Be smarter than that. Open minded. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm sure that's true, unfortunately, but... Must love dogs. <laughs> it's small writing at the bottom. It's so weird. <laughs> Just get to... If you, uh, if you ask why I'm on here, I'll say I'm trying to find out what my d*** looks like in your mouth. This is a dating app. Be smarter than that. I Don't tell me that. what to do. That's talking down to yeah. strangers that you've never even met. Like, ew. It's the be smarter than that one. Yep. That part you ruined all of I it. I don't like. <laughs> yes. Be smarter than that. Because I could imagine him talking to me on a date like that, and I'd be mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm, bye. bye. I'm leaving. Instant bye. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. And then he goes, open minded and intelligent. Normally, bonus <laughs> points for disc golf players. That's so random. <laughs> yeah. Unpopular opinion. Every right swipe is a subconscious admission to yourself that you would smash. Duh. Duh. <laughs> Unpop. It's not unpopular. It's, it's, it's so popular mean. we don't even talk about it because it's like yeah, a, it's well obvious. Known. Yeah. The dick in your mouth thing. That's an interesting take. All right, this guy's fifty. <laughs> Let's keep this a book. Okay, so this is how you know he's fifty because I don't even know what I that don't know phrase what that means. means. I was like, um, <clears throat> okay. Let's keep this a book. The odds are not in our favor. I'm not Prince Charming, nor am I about the bullshit. I don't live my life by society's rules as to how a man should be. I'm free and will live my life as such. It's mine. I hate that. I, hate I know. Mines. That's why. Why? If you're not on nothing, then it'll be nothing. If you want to get my attention, then conduct yourself as such. I'm attracted to women who know who they are and what they want and aren't afraid to speak on it. No one is a mind reader. This could have been in the negative section. Right. But but it is a yikes. It is a yikes. Just the the first little part there. The odds are not in our favor. Why? Why? You're already there. Right. Even if everything works out, we're going to get a divorce. All right. Dang it. How old is this guy? (laughs) <laughs> I'm already cringing I'm gonna be honest here I'm looking for a long term relationship I'm looking for someone who is not put together wait okay hold on I'm going to be honest here I'm looking for a long term relationship I'm looking for some who is not put together I don't like the women who think they all that because they got a car and a job. That don't impress me. Loyalty, oh. honesty, and trust, understanding, and kindness impresses me. Your talents and your passion is interesting. You, integrity, all these things is what I'm looking for. Punctuation impresses <laughs> me. <laughs> Punctuation. <laughs> it lets me know when to breathe. <laughs> Spelling. Um, Punctuation. Grammar. <laughs> Okay, so if if he said, like, I don't like snotty, stuck-up bitches, that would be one thing. But he's like, I don't like people who are put together, like, have a job, or have a car, (laughs) or have a home. Like, the things he listed are, like, basic fundamentals of being an adult person. (laughs) You probably want that person, if they were a female, to have a A nice house, a nice car, a nice, like... Things that show you have a lot of money. Yeah, like, I'm not a materialistic person, so I would get behind that. But this is like, you think I'm going to like you because you've got a car? <laughs> that's, that's screaming to me that you don't have those things. <laughs> that, and also, somebody who had those things, like, rejected him or something. He, doesn't, he probably doesn't have those things. He's very, like, I don't like the women who think they all that because they got a car and a job and whatever that doesn't impress me. It should, to some well, it degree. it also says, don't be put together. So you want, like, a hot mess that's got nothing. Maybe a drug problem. Interesting. I didn't even see that. Or mm-hmm. 
Because it's hard to read that part. It's very <laughs> my <laughs> it's brain hard to fixes make it. it. <laughs> I'm looking for some who is not put together. And I don't like the women who think, whoa, okay. Yeah. So he, he wants, wants you to be a- kind of a loser. Yeah. <laughs> so he's so he wants in. a toxic, crazy bitch. Okay. I'm looking for some who is not put together. I don't like the women who think they all that because they got a car and job and whatever that don't impress me. Okay. Yikes. Not off to a good start. It's all about your pleasure. I love being a good boy and taking care of your needs. Soft hands, soft lips, and good stamina. Big time into pleasing my partner. Massage, kissing, foreplay, oral servant, and nursing. ANR. I like to be told what to do and disciplined occasionally. Only looking for one woman to shower with affection long-term play. Now, <laughs> what the fuck is nursing A&R? Nursing as in breastfeeding? Mm-hmm. I know. A&R, what did that stand for again? Adult nursing two. something? Let's see. It's not the Alliance for Nonprofit Resources? No, I don't think so. No, okay. Um, A-N-R, nursing. Um, I, I'm on my private bar on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Adult nursing relationship. Oh, relationship. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. But this isn't really nursing, right? Because, I mean, it's... Okay, here I'm looking um, at Reddit. Um, it says, have you ever had an adult breastfeeding relationship? Answer, yes. I'm 46 with a 29-year-old boyfriend. We were both laid off in the pandemic. I moved in with him right after that. Um, we were watching porn and a woman was lactating. It got him very excited and that's all he talked about. Then he looked up how to lactate and begged me to. He brought me some all-natural supplements and a breast pump. I have adult kids. I started lactating in three weeks. Oh. I pumped three times a day, and he nursed three times a day. Within three months, I was producing eight ounces a day, and it hurt for the first few months. You are going to have to make a schedule, or it will set it. He nurses from me every morning at 7 a.m. Oh, this is so gross. I pump him at noon. He nurses again at 5.30 when he gets home, and again at 10 p.m. Sometimes he doesn't get home till 6. Okay, all right. All right. You get it. I just, I get um, 46 and 46 year old woman and 29 year old male. That's a, that's a, that's no, that's a no for me, dog. I would say this much. Okay. I can, I, whatever. I can get why someone would be, that would turn them on, on the guy end. Mm-hmm. As a mm-hmm. woman though, if we were going to role play, like you were doing that once in a while. Okay. If I got to change things hormonally within my body so that I start producing milk, which is very abnormal, that seems so unhealthy. I feel like that's how you get breast cancer. (laughs) (laughs) But dude, it's so gross. Actually, you know, everybody has their their thing, but that whole toxic boy mom thing that I'm like, ooh, yes, that needs to, I want to, I think we should look into eventually. Punctuation, don't you, don't grammar. You only match with the people who you swipe on. That's what I thought too. But I'm able with gold with Tinder Gold. You can see all the people who slept. So who for, like you, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like a you just go through and you're like, oh, these people are. Less. So if I choose any of these, and they're going to say yes. So it kind of takes the fun out of it a little bit, but it yeah. also doesn't because for girls, I think you get to if see you all match these. with someone. <laughs> yeah. If you match with someone, you have to be prepared to engage. <clears throat> True. The other way around, I don't think so. Okay, here's the next one. Chak. I guess. Okay. He's 29. <laughs> I think that's his name, Chak. Dino Nuggies are only for good girls. 24 plus. I'm from the 1900s. My time is valuable. I don't have much left. 40 plus. Heart eyes. Let me build you a coffee table. Emotionally available is closed for the season. 1.82 meters. 
in parentheses six feet. I will not buy your OnlyFans, but I respect the hustle. Se habla español. That's a lot. That is a whole lot. Dino nuggies are only for good girls. That's, That's where I'm such a weird thing to say. Stuck. <laughs> if somebody um, said that to my face, trying to be cute or funny or whatever intention, yeah. I would good. laugh very hard and then I would excuse myself. <laughs> He's probably going home to nurse. <laughs> From his actual mom. <laughs> Feed me. I don't have much time left. I want some dino nookie. <laughs> Are you a good girl? Ew. Okay. Chacky want milky. <laughs> Chacky want milky, mommy. <laughs> Ew. All right. Road dog, 45 <laughs> years old. <laughs> Matches. Looking for a neglected housewife to eat all night, then run nothing more, nothing less. Wait, hold on. See punctuation, motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. Looking for a neglected housewife to eat all night, then run nothing more, nothing less. So he just wants to eat and run. That's eat and run. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, sorry to eat and run. Sorry. So you don't want to meet my dog? <laughs> dog sleeps right here. His name is Chico. Okay, we're just gonna go down the line. Let me see if I can, if there's a good one to start with. Let's start with this one. All right, a random fact I love. So back when colored television came out, uh, a cooking show ended up at a Chinese restaurant and asked the chef to prepare something colorful. And so he did a spicy, garlicky chicken dish with lots of vegetables, and he called it General So's Chicken. After that episode aired, everybody and their mother was, like, calling their local Chinese restaurants going, Hey, we want the chicken dish from the TV show. And that is where General So's Chicken comes from. Yeah! <laughs> like, yeah! The more you know! <laughs> the enthusiasm is off the charts and the co I, I, there's confidence coming through and it's a fun i mean he did a good job i think yeah Mission definitely accomplished um and then let's do this one uh a dream home must include this is the one it's supposed to be i triple checked okay Good morning, Christina. I'm Ray, and I would like to meet you and help you with your shooting posture, which needs some attention. And I have a log home. I overlook a lake, but I don't have a flower garden, and I don't have a veggie garden. Not this year. What? Not this year. But Not this year. Have a nice Christmas. So that so, was, am I high? What just that, happened? What? Well, so that was real. Christina. That was for Christina around Christmas time, I guess. And so actually I felt bad. Like what you remember the episode of Friends where she puts an out or Monica puts an outgoing message on, on Richard's voicemail? Yes. I yes. feel like this might be a scenario like where he thought like, he was sending it just to her. How do I fix it? How do I fix it? <laughs> And he just like never logged back in again. <laughs> and also, this guy, he's scrolling through here, and he's like, "Look at her dang fish, her her uh, <laughs> shooting posture. Look at her shooting posture. I just got to talk to this girl, Christina. Wish her Merry Christmas and tell her I can fix that fix that shooting posture." How I just I just I'm just struggling with how he got to the voice prompts to. Miss right, that's kind somebody. of advanced. So if you don't know what you're doing, I mean, probably either that or he's there. like super psycho. But then he would have to know that he's going to match with her eventually, or like come, she would come across his profile. Yeah, I don't know. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna err on the side of please let it be the fact that he's like, he just doesn't know how to use it. But, <laughs> <laughs> um. 
Well, you can send the voice prompt things to profiles, though, to people, right? Oh, you can? Okay. Somebody, yeah, somebody sent it to my fake man. That's how I know. Oh. Because I think I sent it to you so you could hear what kind of, uh. Shit. That makes sense. I should, I should name that guy, like, Chode. (laughs) (laughs) C-H-O-D-E. Why? (laughs) Like, it's Chode. Like, instead of Chad. (laughs) Chode. Chode, like Brody. Or, yeah, Cody, Chody, Brody. Yeah, Yeah. Chody. All right. Get someone who looks at you like. Okay. Someone who looks at me like a hyena over a two-week-old gazelle carcass. Ew. I would run away. I would exit out. I would say no way so fast. (laughs) Don't say (laughs) rotting. Did you say rotting carcass? Someone who looks at me like a hyena over a two-week-old gazelle carcass. Two-week-old, yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's a- definitely in de- decent decomp by then. Ugh. Ew. I am a vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> and probably most of the women that are listening are like, have Ugh. you even eat me? Carcass? Ugh. An overshare. I can't wait. Um, and an overshare. An overshare would be, uh, I really enjoy, uh, eating, eating pussy. Like, I really enjoy it. Uh, it's probably a TMI, but I actually do really enjoy that. And, um, maybe that's something you should know. Do you All think right? he enjoys eating pussy? <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, I <laughs> Okay, like, the. But- the thing that's most um, off-putting about that is that he's talking in this like little little voice. Yeah. Like, well, actually, I mean, well, <laughs> actually, I'm eating pussy. <laughs> he says it, was it like, so many times. I uh, guess an, an overshare. An overshare would be. Uh, I really enjoy uh, eating Ooh. eating. Yeah, I really enjoy it. Uh, I really enjoy probably it. Probably a TMI, but I actually do really enjoy that, <laughs> and. Um, do you Maybe enjoy it, sir? No. Over time. Right. Well, now we know. In 20 and I will, it will be burned into my brain forever. Oh, uh, yeah. I, re- I screen recorded this. Green flags. I look for a high sex drive. How can you look for... I... You can't look for a sex drive, sir. <clears throat> they don't work like that. Um, This one... There's two more left. Um, I know which one. Okay, so this one says, don't judge me. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't judge me, but yeah, I have some interesting life stories and we're not done. (laughs) Hello, Clarice. (laughs) (laughs) If this guy's not getting anything, it's because of this. We're not done. If he didn't laugh at the end, I feel like it would be a little bit better. (laughs) Don't judge me, but yeah, I have some interesting life stories. I bet you do, sir. And we're not done. <laughs> we're not done? <laughs> we're not. That's, and, and then he chloroforms you, and then you wake up in a bathtub, hogtied. In like, the basement. That's what, I'm, that's what yeah. I'm seeing in my head. That's what I'm envisioning. And then like later you'll find out it's a date. <laughs> No. Mm-mm. That was pass. This is a hard Woo! pass for me. <laughs> <laughs> and look, I have a really I have a dark, morbid sense of humor, but I'm like, mm, no. That's what I was like. Ugh. Don't soon. judge me, but yeah, I have some interesting life stories. And we're not done. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I just So don't judge you based on the fact that you have Life stories. We all have life sure. stories, bro. Yeah. This one, I, oh, this last one, a friend's review of me. Welcome to the introductory course of Nabil. Number one con, as I'm sure you've noticed, is his height. However, if you look past that, it is all pros from there on out. He is funny, outgoing, and willing to be as weird as you are. And I hope that you are weird because... He most definitely is, but it's a pro. If you think that's a con, please skedaddle to the left. Thank you. 
Okay, so this is the uh, one. In, uh, let's break this one down a little bit because it's different. Uh, well, he wrote it and gave it to her, and she read it. Oh, you think so? I was yes. thinking the opposite. Nope, because it would if she was reading it and it was written by her, then it would be in her own voice, and she would sound more natural. She does a pretty good job, but there are parts where she like stumbles a little. And if you wrote it yourself, um, that's a I good think, point. I think you would know like where the at least the emphasis on, yeah. on the on sil- syllable. See. Welcome to the introductory course of Nabil. Number one con, as I'm sure you've noticed, is his height. However, if you look past that, it is all saying. pros from there on out. He is funny, outgoing, and willing to be as weird as you are. You're right, right and here. And I hope that you are weird because... As here, you are. Oh, I hear your paper. But it's a pro if you think that's a con. Most definitely is. But it's a pro if you think that's a con. Wait. To be as weird <laughs> as you are. And I hope that you are weird because he most yeah. definitely is. But it's a pro. If you think that's a con, please skedaddle to the left. Thank you. Interesting. So what do you think about the the fact that he has a friend, um, that he has a friend to actually give the review? That's a um, girl. I think that women are more likely to do that. Okay. I think women are pretty good, like wingmen, if you're like actually in a platonic friendship. Oh, yeah. Because I've done that. like. You know, I don't know I if think, I would read this thing because that's a little goofy. Yeah, but... a little try hard on things, but <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's probably it's his sister. Can you read this for me, please? Well, so I was going to say, do you think it's his sister? Do you think it's I his think, sister um... or his cousin or his <laughs> sister sister mom? I want these girls to think. But you're right, though, because if it if it were another woman recommending or even doing this, like I would definitely feel a lot safer. Than if somebody did their own or if their buddy did it or whatever, because I I trust that a woman does not intentionally would want another woman to be, you know, yeah. whatever on the date with her friend. So well, it's like if you have if you see a guy and you have a mutual female friend, you know that you could like kind of dig around there and find out. Like, mm-hmm. would you go out with him? Is he like? cool have you ever hung out with them like in a group is he yeah creepy i think <laughs> it's tr- hey is he a bear or a man in grapes yeah. and you know all that stuff <clears throat> but that's that's a good point i think um women are really good wing men i know but what else it's called <laughs> no that was <laughs> Wing Femini- people. We're feminists. I, that was confusing. We're feminists. <laughs> I'm a wing same. person. Same. Um, that's smart. I think we should cover the topic of pl- platonic friendships um, because I, I I had recent experience with that as well. But um, and my take was very different than the other person's. But um, I think it's cute. Yeah, I, I can see I don't women getting it. jealous. Well, you'd weed them out real fast because if he does have a lot of platonic female friends and someone listens to that and is like, mm, mm, then they shouldn't go out with them. So, so yeah, you're right. So those type it of takes- people, like, oh, you have a friend that's a girl. Well, you might find a black friend. Well, well, well. No, yeah. sometimes it's fine. Uh, I think a lot <laughs> of times it could be fine. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay, those were those. (laughs) Those were those.